hello guys you're welcome to 3d home and in this video i'll be showing us how to model round or let me say curve steps curve steps in archicad okay so let's proceed if um let's say for instance this the kind of design you came across to model like to produce 3d and this is the kind of steps they have there this is how the tpc starts round okay the next thing to do just make sure you know the height of the DPC. Okay, the DPC is 600, that's 600 divided by your riser, which is 150. It depends on which one you do. So, 600 divided by your riser, which is your divided by your riser, which is 150, it will give you four steps. Okay, so four steps. Mind you, this DPC height is serving as one step. Okay, so we have one step already. You see this as one step, and then we'll be producing extra three steps so total of four steps my total we're having three steps to produce okay so let's proceed so the next thing to do now is to make sure you know the base the level that is the story of this particular base this one now from what we're seeing let's check the front elevation and see that the base this base is on ground level okay ground floor or ground level so you click on you come to your stories and then click on your ground Make sure that your modeling is from that particular level. So the next thing the tool will be using for this, we're making use of um, we're making use of a um, floor floor tool, um slab tool, making use of slab tool rather. Okay, slab tool. This is the tool, slab tool. This will be using. Okay, so what's to do right now is um, let's click this floor. Make sure that we set our double click on it to make sure that you set the, the riser. So, the, from what we have here is 150, and that's what we want to make use of. If it's 300, you can tighten your, your figure, but for instance, for this tutorial, we make use of 300. And mind you, the first one I selected that's basic on the side. This one is what we're making use of for now. For the material, we'll set the materials later. Let's just proceed with the steps first. So, we're making use of slab, pick your slab. Okay, bring it to this edge, select the edge, let's create a rectangle, alright? For you to create a rectangle, make sure you select this one, alright? After clicking on your slab, I want you to click slab before you draw, select this one, alright? This um, rectangular, select rectangular, and make sure the width is the same as the diameter of this um, of this semicircle. Let's click after like this, after clicking it, after achieving this rectangle. The next thing to do is to click here because we want to curve this second line. Like we want to curve it to make sure it's aligned with this same shape. So what to do after highlighting it like this, click on this edge. Alright, it will look like you want to move. Click on this edge and then select this segment. Okay, this segment using tangent. Select on it. Then as you shift your hand, the circle is expanding. The diameter of the semicircle is expanding. So you just make sure it aligns with with this one. Okay, make sure it aligns, and then you can okay. So we have the same thing. And then the next thing now is to click on it again. Instead of segment this time around, select this offset, offset all edges. Okay, click on offset, and then. Always remember, note something, always remember to click your control to activate the plus sign. That means as you click on that one, as you offset, you have a duplicate of that same thing instead of expanding it. Alright, so click on control and see how our plus sign is activated. Then your thread, let's use 300 for this. Remember, we're modeling three steps for 600 divided by 150 is 4, and we have one already. So doing extra three steps okay so click on it again don't forget your plus sign then click on it again don't forget your plus sign then okay so we have one two three and four okay three and four so what we'll be doing right now is to check our DPC. DPC, click on this first one. 
type in the offset level to 600, 600, okay, so we have 600 now. Then you click on this one. Let's say, um, just raise it up a little, any you want to raise it, just raise it, raise it up so a little. Raise this one up, make sure it's straight, okay. Raise this other one to up a bit, okay. So we will adjust that, I'm trying to figure out the simple way of doing that. So after raising them like this, go to your front elevation, okay. You can see everything now. Since this one is, is like this, so this one now is below the ground level, okay. It's the top that is on ground level. So you click on this one, type in 150, 150, you come up, all right, the same thing. Then the second one now, which is this step, just take it up, align it to this level, all right. Click on the third one, click on this third one. Can see the new ear is showing and then raise it up so we have everything now you can see first step first second third and the fourth step so when we check our dpc now you can now see that all the steps are aligned okay all the steps are aligned if for instance your this vibe is not showing if you're not feeling the vibe of this one just like what we're seeing here you can decide to delete this particular one now, right? Which is that first word I was saying. I decided to do since we have the steps now. So these are the steps, and this is how to model your round step in Archicad. So thank you very much for your time, and if you find this video helpful, do well to subscribe. Okay, for more videos like this. Thank you.